वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग टूटोरियल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग द फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम सो हाउ द इक्विलिब्रियम डायग्राम इट विल बी हेल्प्स टू फाइंडिंग द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फेजिस एट द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सेट ऑफ कंडीशन सो लेट अस सी सो इन द सॉलिडिफिकेशन ऑफ मेटल एलोइस is clearly demonstrated by the means if the equilibrium diagrams which are convenient the graphical representation of the changes in the state due to the variations into the temperature and concentration so here the equilibrium diagrams it will be only with respect to the two variations first that will be the temperature and second one that will be the concentration or you can say weight percentage of compositions because all the phase change procedure or you can say solidification of the metal procedure it will be onto the constant pressure or you can say one atmospheric constant pressure so only two variables temperature and composition or you can say concentration so at different temperature and concentrations it will be having a different kind of phases of the materials or can say metal alloys so that graphical representation of that particular changes of the phase with respect to the temperature and concentration so it will be called as a equilibrium diagram or simple way at the set of condition of the temperature and concentration the different phase it may be exist so that phase it will be representation onto the graphical situations it will be called as a equilibrium diagrams so that set of condition of the temperature and concentration onto the graphical representation it will be also known as a constitutional and phase diagrams so most of the authors it will be representing as a equilibrium diagrams so which enable the phase content of the alloy to be determined at the any temperature and composition or concentrations so either that will be having a solid phase liquid phase or gaseous phase with respect to the temperature and compositions and one atmospheric pressure that will be the constant or you can say standard constant pressure so either that will be having a different kind of phase so according to that phase it will be requirement of the properties of the materials so you should study which kind of phase it may be exist at the different temperatures with the different composition so they enable the phase transformation to be followed in the heating and cooling of an alloy under the equilibrium conditions so we all know if we heat the materials so below the melting point of the both the alloy materials it always makes a liquid form of that particular alloying materials so in the li liquid state of an alloy which will be having a 100% solubility so it forms a single phase solid liquid materials so by the cooling that 100% liquid materials it will be transforming into the solids so according to its solubility it will be forms the different kind of solid materials so according to the different set of conditions of the heating and cooling it forms the different phase of the materials so when all the processes it will be given the all the systems it will be reversible so if you heat the materials it will be the different form of the phase and if you cool the materials from higher temperature to lower temperatures it once again makes a different phase transformations so all the process it will be reversible in case of the equilibrium diagram or you can say into the heating as well as into the cooling of the alloy now we will discussing with the importance and objectives of equilibrium diagram so let us see 
shows at a glance the phase which exists in an equilibrium for any combinations of the temperature and an alloy compositions so which will be representing the different kind of phases either liquid or solid or you can say both liquid and solid it will be exist for the different combinations of the temperatures and the percentage of the compositions so if you change the composition percentage from 1% to 99% so it will be having a existence of the different phase with respect to the temperatures so it gives the properties of the materials so according to the different weight percentage of the alloy compositions it will be forms the different kind of phases and that phases it will be representing the different kind of mechanical properties so either it will be form the soft phase either it will be formed the hard phase which will be depends upon the set of conditions the next it shows the relationship between the composition temperature and the structure of an alloy so in my previous lecture i already explained how the new solid materials is going to be formed so which kind of solubility of that particular alloying materials it forms the different structure so basically that will be depending depending upon the size of a solute and solvent atoms into the structure and it will be makes a new structure either it will be the substitutional solid solutions or it forms interstitial solid solutions so if you want to learn in details of the solid solution theory so you will find a link in my description box then next so by the equilibrium diagram it provides with the knowledge of the phase composition and phase stability as a function of temperature pressure and compositions so the knowledge it will be the essential part for the selection of the materials for the engineering applications so if your applications it will be with respect to these variables like temperature pressure and compositions so the basic knowledge about the phase so at which temperature and compositions which kind of stability of the phase is required then next permits to study and control processes phase separations solidification of metals and alloys and purifications of the metal etc so these all fundamental knowledge regarding to the alloys or you can say metals during the solidification process or you can say purification process and that will be the essential part in the field of the material science classification of phase or equilibrium diagram so basically classification of the phase or equilibrium diagram that will be depends upon the how many composition elements it will be present into the structure to form the new materials so the first one that will be the unary system so if your material it will be made with the only one component system so you can say in simple way it will be the pure metal so only the single material is being used to form the materials for the product so such kind of material structure it will be called as a unary system second one the binary so if two component system is being used to form the new material so you can say new solid solution material suppose the example is copper nickel system to form the copper nickel alloy so it will be called as a binary phase diagram if the three component system or you can say three materials or alloying elements is being used to form the solid solutions so that will be called as a ternary system so basically the classification of the phase or equilibrium diagram it will be depends upon the component system so unary binary and ternary so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching